Chandraya, Radhika Dale, Krishna, Krishna Bhaktaya, Hare Namo Bhaktaya Namaha. By the causes mercy of Sri Guran Goranga, now we have come to the supremely pure transcendental holy place. The Samadhi of Chan Kazi. По беспричинной милости Шри Гуру Гуранги мы пришли к этому чрезвычайно возвышенному трансценденному месту Самадхи Чан Кази. One day the devotees were doing kirtan at Sri Vasanga. Однажды Sri Vasanga несол kirtan. And the Muslim magistrate was passing by and being disturbed by the kirtan. He became angry and he sent his men and they smashed the Madanga. So then when they told this news to, uh, to um, Nimai Pandit, he became furious, like Lord Shiva at the time of cosmic devastation. <laughs> he said, Oh, I will teach that Chan Kazi. No one can obstruct the Harinam Sankirtan. Tell all the people to make a torches. And come with instruments and we'll have a Maha Sankirtan. And we'll go to the palace of the Chan Kazi. So then everyone became very excited, all the devotees. So the men were making their um, torches and dipping them in oil. And their small children were making their small torches and dipping them in oil. Everyone was fired up for this. And they assembled at Nimai Pandit's house. And uh, Mapu began to dance in the kirtan. And as the kirtan was going through the streets, thousands and thousands and millions of people, in fact demigods from all over the universe, took forms of Navadi buses and joined in the kirtan. And it was evening time. But when Mahapu gave the gave the signal, everyone lit their torches and it became like broad daylight, there were so many torches. And the sound of the kirtan was tremendous, it pierced the coverings of the universe. And seeing thousands and thousands of people all joyfully chanting the holy name, then the Muslim soldiers became afraid. So they have their beards cut in a special Muslim style, you know. So they put their shadows over their head and they join in the case of Haribu, Haribu, because they were afraid of the Hindu uprising. Some of the soldiers, they wanted to stop. But when they approached the devotees, then their beards came into flames, burst into flames. Oh, some of them, they're saying, why are they chanting this Hare Krishna? And as soon as they said Hare Krishna, they couldn't stop. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. What's happening to me? <laughs> because Mahaprabhu's mercy was now spreading the holy name to everyone. When they arrived at the palace of the Chankazi, then they broke down the walls, they broke down the gate, they started smashing all the gardens. Mahaprabhu, when his associates came to the door of the palace and requested to speak with the, the Kazi, so they waited a long time, finally the Kazi came out. 
He said, give me a pallet, please, take a seat. And they sat down together. Nima Pandit said, I have come here to visit you and you were hiding inside your house. What kind of behavior is this? To, you don't receive a guest in this way. <laughs> so then Chankazi said, I knew that you were in an angry mood, so I just wanted you to calm down. He said, I have a, I have a very um, loving relationship with your grandfather Nilambar Chakravarti. So I consider you to be like my nephew. Hmm? So the nephew should not be angry with his uncle. So then, why is he saying you are like my nephew? Because Chankas is the incarnation of Kamsa Maharaj. And his, his Krishna is the nephew of Kamsa Maharaj. So then, Mahaprabhu had a discussion with him about Dharma, religious principles. Yeah. And Mapu refuted all the statements of the Chankazi. And established that in Kali Yuga, the Yuga Dharma for everyone, of all castes, all countries, all religion, from every walk of life, is only to glorify God through the chanting of the holy names. So then the Chankazi, being defeated by Mahapu, he said, I have heard the people call you Gorahari. Do you mind if I call you Gorahari? <laughs> now why did he say, do you mind if I call you Gorahari? Do you know why? The Chankazi said, Actually, last night I had a very strange dream. <laughs> I saw a huge powerful figure with the body of a human and the head of a lion. He was roaring ferociously and he jumped on my chest and with his nails he put them but then he stopped. <laughs> and he said, don't try to disturb the Sankirtan again. This time your offense was not so bad, but if you try again, I'll kill you. And then the Chankazi woke up. And he saw there were scratch marks on his chest. And then he showed to Gohari, look. Huh? So then he, he said to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I will make a law declaring that the Harinam Sankirtan should never be disturbed ever in Navadweep, not only by me, but by all of my descendants in the future as well. So Mahaprabhu gave Krishna Prem to the Chankazi. In the previous incarnation, Krishna grabbed the Kamsa Maharaj by the hair and threw him down into the wrestling arena and killed him and then jumped on and was beating him. He was already dead but Krishna was just venting. <laughs> but that same Krishna in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave the Kamsa Maharaj in the form of the Chankazi Krishna frame. Krishna says, Yeyatama Mbapadyanta thanks to Daiva Jaminam, I reciprocate with everyone. So because Kamsa Maharaj grabbed the hair of Devaki on her wedding day and was about to kill her, that's why Krishna grabbed the hair of Kamsa Maharaj to kill him. 
И красиво его жизнь сопрокейте. Как Я ее там вам попал Когда Швани произносил, что ее восьмой ребенок убьет, он схватил девочки за волосы. И Кришна поэтому oh. тоже схватил камшу за волосы. Oh. But the love of Radhika is so great that Krishna's promise to reciprocate was broken. And he had to admit, he had to admit, Na pariyam niravaja samyujam swas adukrityam vibhudayu shaviva Oh Radhika, I cannot repay you even if I serve you for millions of years. Please be satisfied with your own great liberal generous qualities. So when Sri Krishna, his promise was broken, he was thinking I am making everyone, dealing with everyone in reciprocation, but I myself I cannot reciprocate, so it's wrong. So when Krishna became imbued with the sentiment and complexion of Radhika, then he never made any discrimination. Patra Patra Vichara Nam Nakurute na Swam Param Mikshate Deya Deya Vimasha Kopi Nahiva Kala Patiksha Prabhu Mahaprabhu never considers whether you are a fit recipient or unfit recipient, whether you are um, from his family or caste or any outsider, whether what he's giving to you should be given or not given, or whether it's the right time to give or not the right time to give. Mahaprabhu has no consideration at all. So we see in Gura Lila, he's giving prem even to his enemies. So when the Chankazi passed away, he was put in Samadhi here. So Chankazi, with his wife and his family members, he had a nickname. Hmm? He wasn't the ferocious Chankazi. For his family, he was, oh my dear Champa. <laughs> So the Champak tree is, uh, symbolizes the Chankazi. And Mahaprabhu's name is Nimai. Because of the Neem tree. So you can see that here in the Samadhi of Chankazi, one Neem tree has grown and one Champak tree and they are embracing each other. Now it's not season but green leaves are just coming. You see these long green leaves here, the, this is the champak tree, and there you see the very small many leaves on the branch, that's the neem leaves. So these two trees embracing is the symbol of the eternal love and forgiveness of between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the Chankazi. Go, Brahmananda!